We assembled for a reason. We assembled for the, <laughs> which, which I've been told now. Yeah. Today we're opening packs of Double Masters, good old reprint set. We're gonna have a look at what's inside, and we're competing who can open the higher value Double Masters booster. Ooh. And to make this even more spicy, uh, we. What's Card Market going to do with the cards? We're going to send them to you! Uh, so, anyone... Is me? No, I pointed at the camera, ah. Um Anyone who is sub to this channel, who has a Card Market account, can comment. Just comment your favorite story about any of the cards in this video. Like, anything you remember, kind of what we're telling in this video too. And, you know, we'll go through them, raffle, and send all of these cards in these packs your way. So, I don't know, watch out for a card you have a relationship to, comment your story, have a card market account, and subscribe to the channel. <laughs> I have a lightning bolt and it's complicated. <laughs> <laughs> it's a complicated story. Yeah. All right, you go first. Okay, should we alternate? Yeah, you go first with the first card. Ah, the first card, okay. Yeah, so wait, first. No, the first one is, I have a Titan Strength. Titan Strength. Mm, that's not a very exciting card. <laughs> All right, Titan Strength, 30 days average, 8 cents. Oh. <laughs> I mean, it is played in... No, it's just not. <laughs> it's not played. It was played in Standard, though. There yeah. were some, like, heroic builds. I That's remember true. playing Young Pyromancer in a heroic deck, which was very innovative. And that one played Titan Strength. My first card is... Burning Tree Emissary. Oh, that's a good one. That is a good one. In many ways, really overpowered. Yeah, right? It, it was like, it was good in standard. There was like this, what was it called? The two one that gave haste? Ah, uh, Lightning Mauler. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. 30 uh, day, oh, I'm already beating you. 30 day uh, price average, 14 cents. Mm. All right, number two. Ingenious Scab. Price trend, 30 day average, three cents. Mm. Awful, <laughs> that's not. That's not very high. I'm not even winning if we combined it. <laughs> All right, and it's a crew and striker. I don't remember that card. Whenever another creature enters the battlefield under your control, it gets plus one plus zero oh, and trample into end of turn. Uh, Shards of Alara. Abyssin restored. Yeah, makes sense. Oh, that set was horrible. Yeah, that draft format was not good. Thirty days price average four cents. We're gonna go with Deadly Recluse. Oh, Deadly Recluse is such a classic in Limited. Like, it's never overpowered, but it's a good card. The longer it goes, the less. Back then it was like really outstanding, but nowadays with so many things having like Menace and First Strike and stuff and extra removal being too good. Yeah, it's also not great in price averages these days. It's five, five cents. Cent? I mean, five that's, cents. that's, that's. All right, next card for me, Gnarlback Rhino. Uh, we, we thought about playing this in Popper. Well, it's six cents, so maybe not the Popper staple it will be, but watch out for Nullback Rhino. <laughs> All right, um, oh. Ooh, I think I'm winning. Look at this. I've got an alternate art Monastery Swift. Oh, Spirit. that's, oh my God, that's, that, oh, damn it. <laughs> that puts you like way Look ahead. Look at that. We recently covered the best-selling alternate arts on Card Market, mm -hmm. and Monastery Swift Spear was among them. I mean, the commons at the low price point, now reprinted at common, entering Popper. Damn it. Oh, Swift Spear is so great. 30-day average, 90 cents. That's more than my entire total so far. Love it. I mean, it's I, probably gonna beat some of the Earth. That card was like outstanding every step of the way. When when Prowess, this was in the first set where Prowess yeah. was printed, right? Yeah, it's modern, it's proper, it's it's everywhere. It's everywhere, and back then, like people were flipping out about Prowess. That entire set, Kanzo Take, was wild. You had Treasure Cruise to go alongside it. It spawned the super aggressive Delver decks. All right, let's continue with. It, it's oh, it's not even close. Like, it's an Anointer of Valor. It's not bad. I'm disappointed. It's got a price trend average of four cents. Where is it from? Uh, originally, it's from Commander Legends. Yeah, that makes sense. All, All right. right, I feel like I don't even have to do anything. Yeah, you kind of just sit there. Now the rest there. is bonus. What do we have? Vampire Sovereign. Oh, also a pauper downshift. Anyways, it's got a price average of seven cents, so you're pulling even further ahead. But I'll make all of that up with a Seeker Squire. That one from Ixalan. I played it in a Pro Tour. Oh yeah, right, the green-black deck. Yeah. Uh, that Pro Tour, your deck was really bad, tough life. <laughs> I think you also played this Pro Tour. <laughs> I did. <laughs> <laughs> but for now, we found out that it also has a price trend. Oh, that's a tie, all right. Yeah, 30-day average, seven cents. All right, um, I have an Avon Initiate, which 
is by all means just terrible. You've hit the lowest point of our competition. Uh, once cents. again, three cents. Mm. Um, yeah. yeah, no, not a good one, Toffel. You're gonna be a great father. Deranged assistant. Oh yeah. That was in original Innistrad? That was in original Innistrad, pretty good. Let me tell you, it, it's great in draft, but it's not great here, no. four cents. <laughs> Still beats me. All right. Ah, I have an anointer of Valor. <laughs> Wait. It's gonna be four cents. Four cents? Wow, correct, Toffle. <laughs> I have all the card market prizes memorized. Wow. Over what? the last 10 seconds. That's a crazy ability. That'd be sick. All right, I've got another prowess card, but it's way less powerful than uh, Monastery's Good uh. Spirit. Seeker of the Way. That one saw play for a while in Popper. 30 day average, seven cents. All right. I'm not sure. We, we should enter. Ooh. Is it charm? Also so strong. I mean, that, that set actually has quite some common bangers. Uh, 12 cents, Toffel. That's solid. Two digits. Second one at that. Third. Overall, I mean, you, you third. started strong with interest. I did, but then it just fell off. This figure, which one? Which one? This figure. Mm. Vintage playable. Used to be. That makes sense. Um, anyways, five cent price average. Not too bad, uh, not too good. All right, this is probably a Oh, it's an uncommon. Oh, so beautiful. It's a semi growth chamber, which I think, like, one of the most, like, beautiful cards, just bounce lands. So pure, so satisfying. If you've ever mulliganed and drew a bounce land in your hand, you just feel like you've never mulliganed at all. I mean, that is because they do generate car card advantage by, you know, being yeah. two lands in one land. Fixing things. Uh, that being said, for an uncommon, the price trend is pretty low, only 10 cents. Oh, I mean, too many printings, also a common, I think. But All right, so I'm also, I didn't have a single alternate artwork in there. Uh, with my first, that's that's a really strong one, I think. I'm not sure, it's a Terminate. Uh, I would say like 31 cents. 25, uh. you were pretty close, but much better than your semi growth chamber. All right. It's Bounty of the Luxor. Ah, that used to be a rare. <laughs> that used to be a rare, and it really wasn't great. Like it's so slow. In draft, it was. In draft, it was amazing, but yeah, in, in constructed, in it no. never saw anything. I remember I wanted to make that happen. Oh man, eight cent price average. Wow, that's ridiculous. It's like less some some of the comments. I mean, it, it's a neat design of giving you mana and the draw flexible, but sometimes you didn't want the, the card. Like yeah, you, you, you can't control when you want it. Like, mm. why not just play a Planeswalker that does that kind of stuff? Yeah. All right, hit it. Oh, that also used to be a rare. I, I didn't know this was downshifted. Lot less troll. This one actually um, lost me, or I got defeated by it in a semifinal of my only Grand Prix Top 8 against Simon Nielsen, who was mm. also recently here. Yeah. I didn't get to rematch against Simon, though. You didn't play against Simon? No, I didn't oh, I... play against Simon. It's a grudge match. But it was a game three of a Hogak mirror, and uh, we both had ley lines, so no graveyards at all. And but then he's the king. A king, because you cannot get rid of him. You can throw any useless cards into him and grow him. He trembles, yeah. Yeah, that one just defeated me on the spot there. Ooh. So that's how I made a swift exit and almost didn't catch my plane. I mean, in Magic, a lot of the stories include barely catching the plane. <laughs> yeah, they do. 12 cents. Mm. But a good memory. But a good memory. All right, I still have an uncommon left, which is a Firemind Vessel. At least 15 cents. 30 day average is 9 cents. Oh. So your uncommons, like, your, the whole pack is just pulled together. I think I'm still leading with my monastery's words. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, last uncommon for me. Let's go. Oh, this. <laughs> oh, oh, I think this is the king amongst commons and uncommons. It's an alternate art inquisition of Kozile. Oh, God, I'm screwed. Wow, that looks pretty. Look at that. And this one is giving me a lot of credit in this game because no. this is two euros and one cent. Yike. 201 cent overall. So that's more than I have in total. <laughs> that's more than you have in total. Okay. All right, go ahead, Toffel. Right. First rare. First rare. Actually, let's tally up. So currently, it's two euro and 89 cents on my side, completely carried by the Inquisition, and one euro and 59 cents on your side, completely carried by that Monastery Swift Spear. I'm, go I'm gonna open... Like a good mythic. And, and just... remember, anything you open, you're giving away to someone right now watching this video. Okay. Are you ready? I'm ready. 
Oh. Oh no. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's a pull from tomorrow, which is a bad pull from today. Yeah, it's a bad pull from today, but <laughs> keep an eye out on it. It might be a good pull tomorrow. I mean, this is this was a great card in like torrential Gearhawk standard. Yeah, right? because this card actually was relevant. Yeah. Yeah. Um, right now, it's not a great card for you though. 19 cents. You could cast it for the low price of double blue. You can discard a card. Yeah. Which you is can. <laughs> awesome. All right, 19 cents. That can. That must be easy to top by me. All right. Hit me. Ooh, that I, I. It's better. It's much better, and what it's you got. mean it's better than 19 cents? Yeah, and it's got a, a better artwork too. Gifts ungiven. Oh, wow! I that card. Know. That card has a wild history of being like played in a lot of different decks. Yes, it also changed, I think, some some of the phrasing and rulings because of this. So, what is it worth? Uh, it's worth 36 cents on card market. 30 day average, 36 cents. So funnily enough, the way people use this was never really intended how you use it. I think it was like first popularized by Frank Carsten in like his uh, Worlds thing, where he realized you don't have to search four. You can yeah. only choose two. You can choose two, put both of those cards into the graveyard, and then it's a double unearth. For, yeah. uh, double and then two. Random creature and umbrella rights. And then you got yourself a reanimate for the cheap cost of eight mana. I mean, eight mana on one card, tutor up a card out of your deck and reanimate it? Pretty good. And you know why the reason is why you can only choose two? Because your opponent couldn't know if you even have enough cards with different names in your deck? Uh, yeah, exactly. Like, it's, it's funny because the rule of this says, Whenever you look for something not specific, you have to find it. Yeah. Right? If this would say search for four cards, you can you find, you can find four cards. I mean, unless you have only three cards in your library, right? Yes, then you can only choose two. But whenever it has a restriction, you're not supposed to tell your opponent yeah, that you don't course. have this. But it's always funny to me because that is the rule. It's like, ah, oh, I only found two cards in my 60 card deck. There's only this Jinga Taxi and this Unburial, right? So yeah, I swear all the <laughs> other cards are like Relentless Reds. It's I mean, they couldn't even all be Relentless Reds. Because they would, then you would have found They're all Jinga Taxi. Yeah, yeah, but then you would have played an illegal deck. So, <laughs> yeah. right logically, you sit there and it's like, I think you're gonna, like, you're, there's, something there's something going, going on. on <laughs> but I can't prove it to you. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, all right, double masters, double rare. Okay, please, I need something good. Ooh, I'm pulling ahead. Yes, I have an ether vial. Oh, damn it. Fun question. Do you know which card ether vial is a reprint of? A reprint of? Yes, there was a card earlier in Magic which was an ether vial. Did which... you redo? No. That puts just a Minotaur into play. Yeah. No. There's a very special card called, and you will see it on the screen, it's beautiful, Mercadian Lift. Yeah? Which costs two mana, oh, yeah. and for the low price of tapping it and paying one mana, you can put a counter on it. So you had to play it yeah. yourself. And <laughs> this is the very best part. Uh, in order to put a creature into play, you have to remove the counters. So you have to... <laughs> <laughs> you have to actually pay the mana cost each time. Yes. And, and so, so they, w they went from like, all right, this was a bit low. Let's make it half the mana cost. Yeah. Free counters yeah. and not remove them. Yeah, beautiful. <laughs> I mean, Mechanian List is, I think, one of the worst uh, cards ever printed. But to be fair, you can like change the mana cost sometimes. You just got yourself 13 euros mm. and 27 cents. No, that is not correct. I got somebody else 13 euro True. and 27 cents. But for this game, this uh, is so far is just blowing everything out of the water. All right, I got to play some catch up, Toffel. Let me catch up. Oh my goodness! All right, this is wild. I, I didn't actually expect to catch up, but I, I think this one takes the cake. What? It's an Emrakul, dude. It's, it's an, an alternate, alternate art Emrakul. Oh my. Okay, I think we have to redo this. I'm not giving it away. <laughs> yeah, 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 I'm, I'm buying it. I have it. a very good story for Emrakul. Can I put it in the comments? Ah, <laughs> uh, Emrakul. She's beautiful. Oh man, yeah, all right. This completely blows out of the water. Three, 33 euros and 76 cents. Man, what a card. Have you ever hard casted an Emrakul? Like, of paying? course, many times. Like, without using channel? There is actually, well, you use artifacts like most of the time, but actually back then, uh, in Block Constructed, there was a mono white Eldrazi ramp deck, oh. which played uh, like the creature that got a Got a land, like the planes, 
and the thing when you, you get into life and draw a card and just yeah. only remove spells and card draw and then you topped off with the Eldrazi's. Yeah. All right, what a hit. Jeez. Someone is getting an Emrakul and an Ether Vial. Dude, the start of the pack was actually kind of kind of boring. I was I was getting I mean, a bit we worried. Started with Cummings, yeah. yeah. So this also is I mean it's like imagine your uh, value like effort. You just have to type something in the comments <laughs> you could win 50 euros or, or at least. All right. The ah, we have foils left. We have right? foils left. All right. If something can turn the tides, it's foils, right? Right. I mean just a foil I'm cool, for example. Bam. It's an Elvish Rejuvenator, which... Elvish Rejuvenator? Do you think that can catch you up to Emrakul? Um, No. All right. Eight cents. <laughs> yeah. Let's see if I can, I don't know, find another, like, a foil alternate art Emrakul or something. Ding! Oh, no. But it's a cool card. It's Deep Analysis. Uh, we've played this in... This was played in 1v1 Commander. What a wild format. Um, what's not so wild is the price average, which is 14 cents. So, fun fact, the flavor text is, do you know it? Because everybody should know this by heart. Um, no, I don't. This specimen seems to be broken. And it doesn't make sense if you have this card, it makes sense when you use the older card. Because on the older card they have a Masticore that the scientist like, tries to think. And Mastico was very broken back then. Ah, so they made it. Yeah, they made it an a pun on on this thing. Nice. All right. All right. Final foil, right? Yeah. Oh God, I think. What well, this is a token? If this is not a fifty euro token, I'm not winning. I've got a Wingsteed Rider. Wingsteed Rider. I don't think you need to look it up. Stop the count. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Ten cents. Ten cents. <laughs> yeah. All right. All right. I, I've got a. I think this might go for the throat and foil. Is like. I remember that the Go For The Throat itself was like... I think it's one of the best ones. 39 cents. All right, last. Last card. Uh, uh, it's the Cryptic Spires. Yeah, it's the Cryptic it. Spires. Yeah. Yep. All and right. a Treasure Boar. A Soldier... Fairy Rogue. All right. All right. Well, Jamin? All right, this leaves Utafo at a total of 15 euros and 23 cents, which is impressive. It means... It, it's a booster. Yeah. yeah. Um, and me at a total of 37 euros and 54 cents. Which is outstanding. Da da da! 1 0. Yeah. <laughs> 1 0. And while I'm celebrating my victory, you can head into the comment section, uh, be subscribed to our channel, have a card market account, and tell us any story you encountered. It could be short, long, anything about any of the cards we I have mean, here. Everybody has a story about Emrakul, right? Yeah, basically. You don't even have an excuse. And we'll pick a random one and ship all of these cards, uh, whatever this is in total, out straight to you because we're not going to use these cards, so you can have them. In the meantime, we'll take a break and we'll see you in the next video.